morning. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark. This is Scabber Backpacking, and uh, we are in the woods. First night in a hammock in uh, in a while. It's been five weeks since I had shoulder surgery, so I wasn't sure how laying in the hammock. You know, there, regardless of what anyone says, every hammock has some amount of shoulder squeeze. It isn't like laying in a bed where you can just open up and release. Uh, but bridge hammocks do have, for me, the the best. Uh, ability to be able to to spread out and I have over the last year really started to gravitate more towards the bridges and trying to get the bridge weight a little bit lower now that's going with like the Roto Lacura uh, spreader bars cloud 71 fabrics um, so we're, we're pushing the boundaries of what can be done with a bridge hammock um, but that's kind of where where I'm at and what I'm trying to do is keep keep my base weight as low as possible while maintaining the comfort and I'm not going to sacrifice comfort for uh, ultimate lightweight now I have in the past I've gone with you know five ounce hammocks and gone out and done uh, super super ultra lightweight backpacking trips but you know as I've gotten older I'm, I'm 45 and uh, you know another shoulder surgery this was the fourth shoulder surgery I've had uh, you know it's doing it's doing really well but comfort is a big part of getting out in the woods you know if I'm gonna get out and do a 15 or a 20 mile day I want to make sure that I can get good rest at the end of the day and so if that means taking a few extra ounces to have what works best for me and right now that currently is a bridge hammock that's what I'm gonna do but you know wherever possible spend the money spend the time and get or make as light a piece of gear as you possibly can and that's why we've done what we've done with the pieces of gear that I'm using you know I've got uh, a super super ultra light quilt on here from Cedar Ridge Outdoors uh, it's the one that you guys saw me do a review on I talked a little bit about a eh, first look on um, but it's just super light and you know it goes to show that you can use just a standard under quilt on a bridge hammock if you do it right there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of tweaking, a lot of playing with things that you can do to make things work. But man, nice night, uh, beautiful morning right now. Great cup of coffee. So I've got Onyx coffee roasters in the cup right now. Uh, this is a an Ethiopian. Uh, I can't remember the region. I, I could look, but I can't remember the region right now. But I love. I, I've really gotten to. The, over the last six, eight months, uh, Onyx Coffee Roasters have, have slowly become my absolute favorite and go-to uh, just because they do a lot of things out, out of the box. They have a lot of experimental batches, they team with other people, uh, they try different fermentation techniques, and, and they end up with some, some very interesting, but for me, I'm, I've kind of gone a little bit outside of the, the traditional coffee realm into the the specialties and really looking for those those subtle flavors the sweetnesses the uh it, for me it's the the floral berries all all of that kind of stuff almost gives you a, a little bit of a tea type of uh of flair to a coffee but that's kind of my my thing right now so i'm sure you guys want to hear more about my setup so uh why don't we take a look at what I got going on? All right, guys. So set up for this trip. Uh, it's a little bit different, and unfortunately, it's one that not everybody's going to be able to do um, for a couple of reasons. So I've got a Cloud 71 Banyan from Dutchware Gear, uh, and before you ask, they're not going to offer it in the Cloud 71. Uh, it's not going to be an option. I don't think that they're even going to custom do this for anybody. This is a prototype that I uh, I was lucky enough to convince Alex to put together and uh, let me test out. Um, but just due to bridge construction and the way that things go together, the Cloud 71 is just not a viable option uh, for a for a bridge hammock. Uh, I'm going to continue to rock it and kind of be a, a a guinea pig and test things but uh, don't go reaching out to, to Dutchware to get one they're not going to do it and there will be some durability issues that uh, 
that you'll find if you were to to get it that probably would make it not worth spending the money so there you go uh, <laughs> the cloud 71 fabric itself is actually a really it, for me it's a great fabric uh, I don't weigh enough that it it's a problem uh, it has just enough stretch that it creates this pocket where you feel really comfortable and it, it almost hugs you a little bit which in a bridge hammock it's kind of a plus or a minus. Uh, the minus to it is that you do get a little bit more of the shoulder squeeze. It kind of rounds you off a little bit more because you do sink into it a little bit. Um, but it also, it, it just feels really, really comfortable. Um, I, so far, I, I'm really enjoying the Cloud 71. So I've got it in the, uh, the blaze orange. And then I actually, so one of the last trips, and it's been a while, one of the last trips that Rain Man and I did uh, I think it was the last Washita trip that we we took. There was a there was a time where uh, I had I had gotten to a spot, and I was waiting on Rayman to get there, and he was, you know, we were we were definitely taking our time. Uh, it was not a a rush day, and so I stopped and I had had some lunch and was just kind of hanging out, and there were perfect trees I could have hung a hang up hang up could have hung a hammock up in but because I was rocking the the bridge hammock it's not as convenient to just whip out a bridge hammock throw it up between two trees and chill in it uh, like a gathered end hammock is but I, I thought about it and in the past I had carried a uh, a hammock chair but it's been a while since I've actually you know carried a hammock chair so I got this one this is one that is a cloud 71 hammock chair from Dutchware gear uh, so it's exactly the same fabric as my banyan is in right now. And so I figured why not set it up so it does dual purpose and that way it really justifies bringing it. So right now it's set up as a, a gear sling underneath my hammock. And so what it does is you can see here, my stuff is swinging down below. Uh, it keeps all my gear up off the ground so it's not getting dirty, bugs aren't getting into it. And I'm still using the same suspension. So because I do a Beckett hitch, I've got all that extra webbing that's there, and so I run the webbing down and do a second Beckett hitch onto the uh, the chair, the hammock chair, and then run the sling or the, run the the webbing back up through the loop of the first Beckett hitch, so that even if it was to pull, if this was really heavy and was to pull out that first Beckett hitch, it won't pull all the way through because the webbing's going through it itself. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, so here's my strap system. So it's around the tree up here, and right here is my Beckett hitch that is attached to the suspension of my bridge hammock. The line that came off of there, I ran down and did a Beckett hitch. You can see here the big loop on the Beckett hitch onto this gear sling slash hammock chair. That loose end, which would be hanging on the ground, I ran back up and through the loop, and as you can see, because of the weight that was in here and the way it pulled, it actually pulled the loop. So it pulled it like this, pulled the loop out. And so because I had this run through there, uh, it didn't pop through. So had I done this without doing something to hold it, the weight here could have pulled my Beckett hitch out up there, had me on the ground. So it's important that if you're gonna do something like this and you're using a Beckett hitch to make sure that you lock it off somehow. Uh, you can put a stick through it and cinch it so that it's art, the loop is already pulled through. So if I was to do that down here, what I do is put a stick into here, okay? You can see I put a stick in and then pull the loop so that it's tight. And now it's not gonna go anywhere. Uh, so that's essentially what I've done, but just using the webbing up top. So hammock chair. Yeah, I, I've decided to go with this. This is the lightest thing you can possibly get out there. It's you know, cloud 71, that's 0.71 ounces per square yard, um, which is extremely, extremely light. I mean, just, just not that long ago, uh, a one ounce fabric was, was really viewed as the lightest you could go. Uh, so now a 0 0.71 is, you guys have seen me do the video on, on the, the fact that this was a game changing fabric. Uh, so it's, it's gotten me back into, into this. So, why why a hammock chair well just for a little bit of convenience like i said that that last trip 
there was definitely a, a period there, a time where I could have thrown up a hammock. Uh, had I had a gathered in hammock or a hammock chair, would have been great to just kind of have my lunch and lounge. You know, the cool thing is you can put your, your legs up on the, the suspension on the foot end. And really just have a spot to, to hang out and relax. And, you know, hanging around camp or if you get to a camp and you're waiting on people and you're not exactly sure that's the camp you're going to stay at, you know, it take especially with just using a Beckett hitch system, uh, it, it takes no time. In a minute, I can pull this out, have it slung up, and be good to go. Got some uh, paragliders, powered paragliders up above us. Awesome. Now, I know I've said it several times, uh, but I truly do intend to be posting content on a much more regular basis. Now that, uh, you know, I was in, I was in a lot of pain. Uh, I've had a lot of, a lot of stuff going on at work. All excuses. I could give you a ton of excuses, but the fact is the weather's getting better. The weather's getting cooler. Uh, Rain man's now available. I've got the time and, uh, it's time to start hitting the trail again. It is time to start getting back out there knocking down some miles and putting out some content uh, along with that there will be more gear testing i still have some pieces of gear i haven't shown you guys and uh, i know that i've got some more coming and hey if there's a piece of gear that you guys want to see let me know about it let me know what it is you guys want to see uh you know i do this i do this for education uh you know I'm not making I'm not making money off this. I'm not getting rich off of this. I definitely spend way more than what I bring in on this channel. Uh, speaking of which, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right next to the little bell icon. If you hit that, you'll get notifications every time we put up a new video. And you know, it costs you absolutely nothing to hit that button, but it helps us out. It helps out the tr the channel tremendously. Uh, gets us into that algorithm. Hit the like. Give us comments. Let's get some feedback, some dialogue going down below. Um, you know, that's that's what I'm here for is to to help educate, help get things out there. Uh, tell you my personal opinion on pieces of gear. Uh, you know, a little while ago, I would have told you that a a hammock chair was completely unnecessary, but I was also using extremely lightweight gathered end hammocks. Now that I've switched to a uh, a bridge hammock, you know, it makes sense for me to start carrying something else with me that I can sling up, you know, on those days where I just need a little bit of a break. You know, if I want to take a couple of hours for a, a lunch, you know, sitting on the hard ground, sitting on a rock, uh, even if I bring a, a sit pad or something just isn't all that all that great all that appealing but being able to lounge you know get your shoulders in here kind of lean back kick your feet up enjoy a cup of coffee up off the ground you know if there's a nice breeze get a little swing going and just relax now that that's something i can get with so uh all right guys that's where i'm gonna end this one hope you guys enjoyed it uh, like always, if you have any comments, any questions, leave them down below. And I do mean it. Let me know what kind of pieces of gear, what kind of things you guys want to see on this channel. And I will do my best to make sure that we get them and get them featured on the channel. Uh, as long as I think that they're going to you know, fit with what we do and be something that the, uh, the audience all wants to see, hey, I'm game. So fire away. All right, guys. I'll see you down the trail.